If you want to start a successful e-commerce business, you need the ability to process transactions on your own website. And choosing the right e-commerce platform is one of the biggest decisions that you'll have to make. And right now, Shopify and BigCommerce are the two main shopping carts that most people recommend and they are both fantastic platforms to base your business on. But did you know that there are free e-commerce platforms out there that are as powerful as Shopify or BigCommerce? And did you know that these open source platforms are 100% free to use and well supported by the community? Well, in this video, I'll discuss my experiences with free e-commerce software solutions and how they compare to the most popular fully hosted platforms like Shopify and BigCommerce. And just a quick note, I've been running my seven figure e-commerce store on a free open source platform for over 10 years now. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell button to be notified when new videos come out. So first off, when it comes to selecting the right shopping cart, your main criteria should be low monthly costs. How much does a shopping cart cost to run on a monthly basis, including all plugins? It needs to have a high level of extensibility. If there is a feature that you need, can you easily add functionality to your site? Does it have third party support? Are there companies actively developing plugins for your shopping cart? High level of control. Do you have the freedom to change the shopping cart and tailor it to your own needs? And then finally, there's ease of use. Is the shopping cart easy to use and maintain? Now, unfortunately, there's no single shopping cart that meets all the requirements that I just described. So as a result, I'm gonna break down the trade-offs of going with a free open source e-commerce platform versus paid solutions like Shopify and BigCommerce. So let's start with the free options first. Option number one is Shift4 Shop. Now Shift4 Shop is a fully hosted e-commerce platform that is as powerful as Shopify and BigCommerce and it's 100% free to use for store owners in the United States. Now similar to Shopify, Shift4 Shop handles all the technical aspects of selling online and you can get up and running right away. They also provide free technical support for all subscribers. Now you can actually read my full review of Shift4 Shop over here, but what is the catch? While Shift4 Shop is 100% free, you must use their payment processing solution, which costs 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction. Credit card processing is how Shift4 Shop makes money, but they do not charge any monthly fees to use their e-commerce platform. Now overall, Shift4 Shop is just as powerful as Shopify or BigCommerce, but it's not as easy to use. In addition, Shift4 Shop does not have as strong of a third-party ecosystem, so there are far less apps on the platform. But you can't beat free. So here's how I rate Shift4 Shop on a scale of one to 10, where 10 is the best. Startup costs, I give it a nine. Out of the box features, I give it an eight. Third-party support, I give it a five. Platform control and extensibility, I give it a five. Ease of use, I give it a seven. Now, if you live in the United States, it's pretty much a no-brainer to sign up for Shift4 Shop. Now the next free e-commerce platform I wanna talk about is WooCommerce. WooCommerce is one of the most widely used e-commerce platforms in the world because it's based on the popular open source platform, WordPress, and it's 100% free to use. Now, similar to Ship4 Shop, you can build a fully featured shopping cart on WooCommerce that rivals Shopify or BigCommerce. Now, quick note, you can watch my full review of WooCommerce versus Shopify here, but the main disadvantage is that WooCommerce is an open source e-commerce platform that requires you to be a little bit tech savvy. Now, what is an open source platform? An open source e-commerce platform is software that allows you to create your own e-commerce store website for free. The software is often maintained by an active community of developers who volunteer their time because they're just so passionate about the project. Now, the most famous example of open source software is Linux. And today, Linux is maintained by tens of thousands of developers and is one of the most widely used server operating systems in the world. Now, when it comes to websites, the most well-known open source platform is called WordPress, which is a content management system that powers over 30% of the web. Now, open source software is free to use and you can modify it as how you see fit. And not only that, but it's extremely powerful and can often perform better than paid solutions if you know what you're doing. So if the software is free, then what is the catch? Well, the caveat is that you have to host the software on your own server and maintain it yourself. So for example, my e-commerce store, Bumblebee Linens, uses the open source shopping cart OS Commerce. And I host my store on a server run by Liquid Web, and I'm in charge of maintaining the machine, applying patches, and keeping the software up to date. Now my only costs are renting the server, which is very cheap compared to paying for a fully hosted platform like Shopify or BigCommerce. Now if you don't mind maintaining your own website, then WooCommerce is easily the most popular open source e-commerce solution on the market with a bunch of third-party developer support. Now while the base shopping cart is free, 
WooCommerce makes money by charging for extra functionality in the form of WordPress plugins. Some plugins carry a one-time fee, whereas others incur a recurring charge. Now, when deciding between WooCommerce and paid solutions like Shopify or BigCommerce, you must also factor in server maintenance costs into the equation. Now, the number one reason to go with WooCommerce is if you want full control over your website and source code, or if you already have a WordPress blog and would like to sell products directly from your website, or if you want access to a large third-party developer community. Now, here's a video that walks you through how to install WooCommerce for less than three bucks a month using Bluehost. Now, here's how I rate WooCommerce on a scale of one to 10. Startup costs, I give it an eight. Out of the box features, I give it a six. Third party support, I give it a nine. Platform control and extensibility, I give it a nine. And ease of use, I give it a six. Now, the final free e-commerce platform that I wanna talk about is OpenCart. OpenCart is an open source e-commerce platform that is extremely fast, well supported, and 100% free. Now this platform is well coded, easy to understand, and plugins can be purchased very cheaply for a one-time fee. Unlike plugins on Shopify or BigCommerce, which require a monthly recurring fee. Now OpenCart's plugin library is also quite large, and you can find add-ons that do practically anything that you need. And many third-party e-commerce service companies also offer out-of-the-box support for OpenCart. However, OpenCart is much less popular than WooCommerce and carries a greater risk of obsolescence. Now, if OpenCart's small team of developers were ever to lose interest, then you could be stuck with a dead-end platform. But so far, OpenCart has had a pretty good track record of community support. Now, overall, OpenCart is a much faster e-commerce platform than WooCommerce because it was developed from the ground up for e-commerce and doesn't carry the extra baggage of WordPress. Now, here's a quick video that will show you how to install OpenCart on SiteGround, which is my recommended shared web host for OpenCart. It's also important to note that fully hosted platforms like Shopify are not immune to platform risk either. For example, if Shopify were to lose its popularity or go bankrupt, then your e-commerce store would still be in jeopardy. Now in the best case scenario, you would be forced to perform a very painful migration and at worst, you could lose everything. So in other words, paid e-commerce platforms do not make your website necessarily future-proof. And in fact, I've seen a bunch of fully hosted shopping carts languish over the years with very little developer support. So for example, back in the day, Yahoo Merchant Solutions was actually the best platform out there, but today it's a platform on life support and there haven't been any new features for a very long time. So here's how I rate OpenCart on a scale of one to 10. Startup costs, I give it an eight. Out of the box features, I give it a seven. Third party support, I give it a five. Platform control and extensibility, I give it a 7.5. And ease of use, I give it a 7.5. Now the real question is, how much money can you save with a free e-commerce platform? Well, by using a free e-commerce platform, you can save anywhere from $300 to $5,000 per year on costs. And here's a real world example. Now I started my online store back in 2007 using an open source platform called OS Commerce, and I've been on this platform for over a decade now. Now just a quick note, I don't recommend OS Commerce today, and I'll explain why in just a little bit. But when I first launched my website, I hosted my store on an inexpensive web host called Bluehost. And back then I paid $7 a month to rent a server, but today you can sign up for as little as $3 a month. Anyway, when I first started out, my site had very little traffic, and at the time it would have cost me $29 a month to host my store on Shopify or BigCommerce. Now all told, I saved roughly $26 a month by going with an open source platform. Now $26 a month may not seem like a lot of money, but paying $3 a month versus $29 a month gave me peace of mind when I was a total noob because I wasn't sure if my store was gonna succeed. But sales ended up growing exponentially and over the next two years, I quickly outgrew my server on Bluehost and moved all of my operations to a virtual private server on Liquid Web. And today I pay about $100 a month to host my store on Liquid Web along with five other sites on the same box. Now, what if my online store was on a fully hosted shopping cart platform like Shopify or BigCommerce today? How much more money would I be paying? First off, calculating the true cost of running an e-commerce store on Shopify or BigCommerce is highly dependent on the number of plugins that you use. Now, in other words, the base price of a fully hosted cart can be misleading. Now, for example, if I were on Shopify, I'd probably be paying about $400 a month to run Bumblebee Linens if you take into account all the plugins that I would have to pay for and that's a savings of $300 a month. Now, if you also factor in the fact that I have six websites on the same server, I could theoretically just pay $50 a month to run my online store alone, which would save me over $350 a month. And over the course of a year, that's 4,200. 
And if you multiply that by 10 years, that is $42,000. Now, just a quick note, this doesn't even take into account third-party services, which I've replaced with free open source plugins to save hundreds or more per month. And in addition, some carts charge transaction fees, which you avoid paying when you own your own platform. Now, as you can see, the savings can quickly add up over time. And not only that, but I have full control over the source code and I can make any modifications that I want. If there's a feature that I don't have, I can simply implement it myself. In addition, I can easily move my website to any arbitrary host as I demonstrated when I migrated my store from Bluehost to Liquid Web. So as a result, I have full autonomy and no one can ever shut me down. Meanwhile, with Shopify and BigCommerce, you are beholden to their platform. They can raise prices at any time or change their policies and it's a pain to switch shopping carts. And if you haven't guessed by now, my favorite fully hosted shopping carts are Shopify and BigCommerce. Both companies, especially Shopify, have large war chests of cash and they are highly unlikely to go out of business. In addition, both carts are well supported, are constantly adding new features, and are considered cutting edge e-commerce platforms. Now, when it comes to new e-commerce features, developers are first to create plugins for Shopify and BigCommerce because they have the largest installed customer base. And in fact, if you look at the app store for both platforms, you'll find plugins that do practically anything that you need. Now, the only downside is that these plugins usually carry a monthly recurring fee which can quickly add up. So if you don't want to deal with maintaining your own server and your own e-commerce platform, then you can't go wrong with either Shopify or BigCommerce. Now, the main downside is that it will cost you more money, but you'll avoid all the headaches of managing the technical aspects of your site. Now, just a quick note, if you're trying to choose between Shopify and BigCommerce, watch this video. Now, the million dollar question is, which e-commerce platform should you use? Now, before you jump on board with a free or fully hosted e-commerce platform, you have to ask yourself what you need. If you reside in the United States and you don't mind using a free fully hosted e-commerce platform with a steeper learning curve than Shopify or BigCommerce, then go with Shift4 Shop. If you want maximum control, flexibility, and lower costs at the expense of having to manage a server or your software, then go with an open source platform like WooCommerce or OpenCart. If you'd rather focus on selling and nothing else, then outsource all the tech issues away with a fully hosted platform like Shopify or BigCommerce. In general, free open source e-commerce platforms are for those who are more technically inclined and demand the maximum level of control. Hope you enjoyed this video. Now, if you like what you saw, there's actually a lot more where that came from if you subscribe to my channel below. And if you are interested in learning how to sell physical products online, then click over here and take my free six day mini course where I'll walk you through everything that you need to know to get started in e-commerce. Thanks for watching.